name is Lillian Kaivilu. I'm the co-founder Impact Hub Media. Impact Hub Media is an, a digital media platform that uses solutions journalism to amplify stories of change makers in Kenya and in Africa at large. And what we mean by change makers, these are institutions, they could be individuals, they could be companies or even government initiatives that are offering scalable solutions to the challenges facing the continent of Africa today. Uh, so I'm a journalist by profession and had, have worked for local media in Kenya and for international media as a, a development journalist and also worked for other international organizations like the World Bank and the UN. And, and, and one thing I noticed throughout my, my career in the, in the mainstream media was that uh, positive stories or what you would call development stories or solutions journalism as you call it today was not really given uh, such a big space in the, in the mainstream media space. And this uh, prompted me, uh, particularly when uh, Kenya rebased its GDP, uh, sometimes I think it was in 2015, uh, prompted me to ask, uh, so what is the space for people who are offering solutions? Because as you know, our journalism training is, um, is man bite dog kind of a narrative. So I was looking for an alternative uh, way of telling stories by amplifying stories of uh, people who are offering solutions as opposed to picking the problems uh, that, 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 that people are experiencing each day. So that is what uh, prompted me to start Impact Hub Media uh, then. And so far, uh, Impact Hub Media, apart from telling these stories uh, on our media platform, uh, which is actually a website, is our daily work is actually to train young boys and girls uh, from informal settlements on how to identify these stories from their own communities and use not just PR but use solutions journalism to identify these scalable solutions and tell these stories. So uh, you, you would call them like change makers, um, change makers in their own communities. They are the eyes, uh, the, they are the eyes, the ears in their own communities to just change the, the, the narratives of what happens in those uh, communities using journalism. So far we've had, we actually currently um, on uh, today, actually, we are having our third or f our, our fourth, our fourth class for our fourth cohort of our students. Uh, they are all uh, from Kibera so far. So our current cohort is now doing their fourth class today, which is you know, which is on um, which is on uh, interviewing skills. So we take our students through uh, basic journalism skills because these are students who don't have any background in the media. So we take them through news writing, through media ethics, through. Uh, solution journalism style itself through photography and all that just for them to be able to use that to identify these positive stories from their communities i will tell you the story of judy <laughs> judy was one of our students in our second cohort uh that was in uh, uh january of of 2019 or sorry january of 2020 judy was in that cohort and uh, today, why I pick Judy is because Judy joined us in our class as a very shy student in a backbench. And I remember when she joined us, she had just come from, um, uh, from high school because she cleared sc high school the previous year. And she was a very timid student and she would never uh, say anything in class. In fact, she was only contemplating uh, repeating high school so that she could, be able to, she could be able to get better marks and perhaps join a media school because that was her dream. And we convinced her through our training. She went through the training. And uh, today, just to cut the long story short, today Judy is one of our star reporters. She's actually a full-time uh, staff in our office. And she's produced very outstanding stories, uh, particularly in Kibera. She's been able to produce very outstanding stories using solutions journalism. And apart from that, uh, Judy has also been uh, picked by other organizations to undergo the journalism training. And for us, a particular uh, training that Judy has undergone recently uh, during this time of COVID-19 was the training by the Facebook Journalism Project. To us, that was a very big deal to have a student uh, from scratch who has gone all the way to be able to produce stories and now uh, uh, being able to even qualify for the, for the Facebook Journalism Project. We also have another story of Janet, who also joined us in the same cohort. Janet uh, joined us fresh from high school. She went through the, our, our, our training, which is normally about uh, a 13 weeks training. And today, Janet is a film student at Multimedia University. She just joined this month. Well, uh, as, as a solutions journalism um, media platform, we, 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 we tend to look for solutions even when there are problems. So during COVID-19, when everyone was seeing the problems, we looked at 
people who are offering, again, scalable solutions to the challenges around COVID-19. And, and for us, our biggest uh, breakthrough is when uh, the One IFRA, that is the World Association of News Publishers, um, give us a grant to be able to carry out a training to our journalists and other journalists outside our platform to be able to identify these stories and cumulatively we're able to produce more than uh, 13 tailored stories, uh, purely tailored to produce content on the people offering scalable solutions around COVID-19 uh, response. That to us was a very big breakthrough in the midst of the pandemic. That happened uh, last December in 2020. Five years from now, we see ourselves as, uh, as the to-go-to media platform in particularly changing the narrative about uh, the African continent. We see ourselves as the hub where people would look out for change makers, and, and not just that, but a place where change makers and people who can help scale up their solutions can meet. They are meeting place for change makers and the amplifiers of their change making process. So we see ourselves as that place, not just a media house, but a place for change makers and the amplifiers. In this case, could be donors, could be partners, could be financiers, anyone. Yes. I, I, I think I deserve to be a, a Zuri alumni because I am not just an ordinary journalist, but I'm a journalist who is uh, also, first of all, who is a journalist who is um, driving, I mean, getting into a field or trying a hand in the field that uh, is still a, a bit fresh. I would say solution journalism, still a, I mean, solutions journalism is still a fresh, still a fresh field. So as I, I would count myself for Kenya as a pioneer in solutions journalism. And number two, I also think I deserve to be a uh, Azuri alumni because apart from just using journalism skills uh, to amplify these stories, I'm also giving a space and a chance to other people to be able to, one, acquire skills in journalism, and number two, to become ambassadors of uh, positive stories and good news in their own communities. Well, uh, in line with this uh, with this year's International Women's Day theme, uh, I believe that as Impact Hub Media, we are not only um, we, we are giving a chance to every person, and particularly as you can observe, we we are based in Kibera Informal Settlements. That is the focus of our students that we train, and interestingly, our current cohort is composed of girls only. Uh, we don't know if it was that uh, was a coincidence or what, but when we made the call for applications, we got girls only, and we said, you know what, we'll continue with the students as they are. And to us, we think uh, that would play a very big role in giving girls an equal chance for them to compete uh, or to play competitively with their with, with their male counterparts. Uh, secondly, uh, I believe that even by the fact that we are using solutions journalism to amplify the untold stories and to change the narrative of the African about the African continent, that in itself plays a very big role to just change narratives and place Africa as a home of solutions as opposed to that uh, notion of a dark continent that has poverty, violence, uh, death, name it. So we, we feel that we are the right, we are playing the right role at the right time to position Africa as a place of showcasing what we got as a continent.